Hi, my name is Grace Goodman, and today I want to talk to you about the decriminalization of mushrooms or psilocybin that's currently going on in San Francisco city and county. Last week, the San Francisco City Council voted unanimously to decriminalize mushrooms in the city and county of San Francisco. Now, there's been a lot of conversation about what this means, but I think what's important is to understand the difference between decriminalization and legalization of a substance. Legalization means you can legally purchase, you can legally sell, you can legally use certain things. You will recall about 10 years ago, this was going on with marijuana. Decriminalization means that it is going, it's still illegal technically to do all those things, but it's at the bottom of the list of things that are going to be prosecuted or that the police are going to arrest for. The idea is to take the criminalization out of it. So it's not that what you're doing is illegal, it's that the police in the district attorney's office aren't going to arrest and prosecute you. The idea behind this right now in San Francisco is there's a lot of conversations between the health benefits of psilocybin in regards to mental health. UCSF right now has a huge uh, research going towards does, does psilocybin help um, treat things like depression and anxiety. But right now those things are still illegal. So in order to go forward with any type of therapeutic use, we first have to decriminalize it so we can then decide if that is something we're gonna use as therapy and treatments later on down the road in San Francisco. I hope that was informative. And if you have any further questions about the decriminalization of mushrooms or psilocybin or any other substances, feel free to contact the Nieva's Law Firm. We'd be happy to help.